long, I don't want to make a mess here, so. And then I also got a Syngonium, which I've been wanting really, really, really bad. Um, yeah, so a Syngonium Albo. So that's this one. And then I'll take out my other one. And these are in four inch pots. I do know that. So this one's the Alocasia Black Velvet. There's a heat pack. It's still a little warm. I will say that they they didn't wrap them as good as New York Succulent Succulents, which is where I got my Monstera Thai Constellation. Um, it was in like wrapped in this foil like construction and but we haven't been that cold recently so i think that's okay make sure that i'm being recorded I think that's good. Cut myself out though. My pajamas. I love where life takes us. Who would have thought you'd ever put yourself on camera and you're in pajamas? COVID did that, I think. But I'm considering putting this one only in water and not dirt. Um, simply for the fact, I'm also considering doing that with my Monstera Thai constellation. It needs water at least every two to three days. And I'm okay with that. I don't mind watering. But there's going to be a time where I have to go back to the office full time. I'm not going to want to do all this after work. Okay, it looks really packaged well. I'm scared. Definitely moist. Definitely moist. That's beautiful. Wow. I don't see anything on the leaves. Great job with this. So, how do I open it?
That's gorgeous. And then the soil is pretty, very nice. So I think what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for a minute and we'll open the other one. I think they're going to be fine. Um, this company looks really reputable. I found them on Instagram, by the way. Uh, we have they show you the plants that they're going to send off to people. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at those. I've got to have them. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even hesitate. Um, Instagram is the way to go, I guess, when it comes to selling plants. If you do that, you're bound to get a lot of people like me. Um... I know a lot of people don't replant their new plants right away, but I'm just so afraid to not do that because you don't know um, if there's bugs in the soil or whatnot. So I like to I like to get rid of all the soils most as much as I can and prep them the way that I get them without waiting. So far that hasn't been a problem for me. Oh, look how small. Here's how this is. So they really moistened this up, which I understand why, since it's in alocasia. Oh, it's got the... Yeah, I I wasn't sure if I was going to do allocations or not because they just seem like they cause a lot of people trouble. A lot of people have a hard time with them. But when Mom and I went to the nursery this past weekend and I got my first one, which I recorded and it'll be up in a couple weeks, um, I fell in love with it. Um, so hopefully I do okay with raising them. So cute. So wet. There he is. So those of you that are experienced maybe could look at this and say right off that there's a problem, but looks nice. So wet. Okay. So Try to move around here. I like having daylight. Since I don't have daylight, I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Um, so what I'm going to do here is first take the dirt out. So wet. Um, the root ball of my other alocasia that I got and planted, I haven't watered it yet, and the root ball is still really wet when I use my moisture meter. I don't know if that's typical of, I didn't get to get all the dirt off. I mean, can't always get all the dirt off. So there may be some peat. I don't like disturbing him this much, but it's just falling apart. Okay. 
I know what that is. It's one of those quirks or corns that you guys talk about all the time. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to take it off. Corn? Is it a corn? I don't. I don't know. I saved a video I've had on Instagram on how to how to do how to deal with those, but I'm not ready for that right now. All right, so I'm gonna leave the rest of this. This looks really good. I don't see any rot. I don't know if I see bugs. I mean, how do you really tell, you know, in, in this? You just have to hope that it's okay. So at this point, I think what I'll do is I've got a little bath here instead of my hose. Is it a corn? I think it's a corn. Okay. So I think that's good enough. So I'm just going to leave him out here. What I might do until I get more confident in the water is I'll just probably go ahead and plant him the way I typically do, um, in the same mix that I typically do, and see how he does. And if I do have to water him a lot, I may just go ahead and change it to um, propagating in the water like I did my philodendron pink princess and by the way it's doing great it does it, it likes the water um, I don't see any roots yet but it's Seems happy. Okay, I don't want to mess with it too much. So pretty. is definitely easier. So since I feel fairly confident that these are nice and healthy and I saw zero bugs, I brought them out to the kitchen where my collection is so I can see and be more comfortable. So this is the pot. This is a four inch pot that this was in. 
Um, this is a four inch pot. This is a six inch pot. So I feel like this is too big, but I don't have a five inch pot. So I don't, I don't have a choice um, unless I put it in here and I could propagate. But I don't really want to do that. Not yet. Not until I get more familiar with these plants. So, that being said, I'm going to put them in these six inch pots. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do this time that I didn't on my other allocation is to add some of the Bonsai Jack Maroon Lava Rock. So this will help absorb, uh, have a little more water in it than being so dry. Um, so I'm not having to maybe water it every two or three days, but I'm not going to put much in there because that kind of backfired me, backfired on me when I did my cactuses that way, or one of my cactuses. So I don't like changing things up too much so i need to go ahead and i typically like to put my stuff in there and then mix it up i think we're going to do that anyway so just lay this here let me just put them in here for now a heck of a note when you have to work all day and you're so pumped up for your plant mail and then the plant mail doesn't come till very late till seven o'clock when UPS is it's the drop dead delivery. I'm just glad it showed up because my last plant mail as you guys know my monstera went, went to Florida went to Columbus <laughs> went all over the place where I didn't know if I was going to get it or not. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Let me think. I'm going to add a little more soil than, tip than I typically do, too. Um... But not too much. So I've got about right to here. Um, I'm going to put my lava off. Tell you what it's not easy recording i couldn't believe this past weekend i did a whole hour of watering lithops and talking to you and my recorder wasn't even on so frustrating I 
think I'm going to skip putting the granules in this time. That's how confident I feel about these plants. I don't, they look very healthy. When I say granules, it's the uh, bone-eyed ins insect, insecticide. water him tomorrow since most of the dirt is off. Um, this is what we've got. What is that?
other thing. I've been up since 3.30, so... That really doesn't bother me. I'm... The way I sleep, I don't sleep much. My body's not in need of that much sleep. Some people, I guess. But I will say that if I see him struggle, I'm going to be putting him in the water instead. Just based off what I read and heard. real pretty stuff on top of their plants and my only problem is, is that I for one I like the bonsai jacket I think it looks nice but as much as I change my thoughts I don't want to have to I just feel like it's a waste where I can reuse everything in here um, where I, w I don't know, you guys, I've seen you guys reuse your top, your toppings that you have. It just seems like it would be kind of a pain. But I think it's turned out nice. So I'll probably water you tomorrow. Um, we'll see. But uh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this. So let me show you where I'll put him. I put all of them in my, my collection goes into the dark room because it's Nighttime, all the lights are off. But, so, this is where my alocasia, forget the whole name. Um, I'll figure it out and put it on the screen. But my pink princess, which you can see here, he's all in water. Likes it. Um, but they they stay in here underneath the lights. It's warmer in here. And then I'll put my others also in here, probably over underneath this table tonight. And then um, my cactus is there. Uh, my lithops means but rocks there. So yeah. Um, and then I bring them all out by the window. 
in the daytime so they get to be all by out here all my boxes are right now <laughs> so okay well you guys got to see a nice potting tonight and unboxing and it was a positive one so grateful I I highly recommend um, this company the canopy plant company check them out they're on Instagram so all right, time to clean up and go to bed.